If you are looking for natural ways to maintain your lawn or front yard, then this video may be for you. Welcome to Home and Haven Farms. My name is Brittany and today we are moving our sheep and we are going to be discussing how you can use sheep to maintain your own front yard. If you live in a city, this may not be a choice, but if you live in the city, I hope that our video can inspire you to get further out in the country where maybe you can utilize sheep. These are some old garden beds that Brian had set up the first year that he was on this property. As you can see, the grass is very, very prolific. So we're gonna be running our sheep through here. Before we get the sheep moved over, we need to prepare the yard to put in our fence posts. Then we need to string up the hot wire or the electric fence. We use poly braid reels. Then you gotta move the sheep, close things off, and hook up the charger. Brian has me on a mission of relocating these elderberry bushes. Um, we have a couple of different plants and they are just severely choked out by the grass. So I will be repotting them for now and then we will be finding an area to put them where they will hopefully grow much better and not get choked out. Um, send your love to our elderberries. They are not very happy right now. Now sheep are phenomenal grazers and they have been used historically for thousands of years. And another fact that people might not know is that shepherding is one of the oldest and most stable occupations and jobs in history. It's nearly bulletproof as far as inflation is concerned or food necessities are concerned. The best thing about sheep might be that besides clearing an area, they also provide wonderful fertilizer for your yard. Their fertilizer is optimal and completely natural and organic, unlike typical fertilizers that you would buy at a store. Speaking of fertilizers, the cost of those have soared through the roof. So if you are looking for an inexpensive and a natural fertilizer for your yard, for your lawn, for your pastures or fields, sheep are a wonderful option. While I was out and about, I also wanted to bring you guys to our sheep's last paddocks. And oh my goodness, they are recovering beautifully. Most of this field was broom sedge, which is this stuff right here. And as you can see, there's so much more beautiful, soft, luscious greenery out here. That is the power of sheep, y'all. <laughs> An update on the dogs. Those little white things right there were earth bags that we had piled within the corner of our <laughs> reinforced fence. 
and the boys pulled those out and got all of the dirt out of them and turned them into snacks and toys. They were actually doing really good and staying in our yard. So we tested the guys for a few days and they, they got in trouble. So we are now running a hot wire all along the perimeter of the fence. I know, I know, we love you guys, I'm sorry. So today we moved our sheep. We relocated our elderberries. We also discussed some fun sheep facts for you guys. If you all did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. It always helps us to get our message out there. Speaking of videos like this, last week was the first time that I have done a discussion style video and I would love your guys' feedback on that. If you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check out our last video called Dynamic Discussions with Bryce Worthy and the Worthy Farmstead. And let me know what you guys think of that kind of video and consider subscribing if you guys want to see more videos like this. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. We will see you on the next video.